Now, it's time for another Tower of Dice review with Tom Vaseline. to yourself, Tom, you're mad! But this game has conquered my fear of trading in the Mediterranean. It's by Michelin Games. It's called De Couvre la Franque. And the really, really cool thing about it is it's got a smiling man on it. Can you shut the door? Thank you. The game is uh, got the Mediterranean and it's got trading, two really things. And uh, shut the door. Thank you. Alrighty. Um, it's for uh, 2 to 13 players uh, and it plays from about 30 to 40 hours. Um, and it's got some components that you should look at. Let's have a look at them right now and I'll tell you what I think afterwards. Is a, a map of Spain and uh, all the major cities have been marked with these uh, lovely big red dots. Um, you also get um, a bunch of resource cubes. Uh, these are the uh, the delicacies of, of Spain. Uh, they are this is to the same. Um, you have wine, you have cheese, you have snails and of course you have sheep's testicles. Um, these can be collected at any of the major cities um, and then uh, the game basically commences once you've got it all set up. First uh, you take your blue card, this tells you the city you're going to start in. Uh, so I'm going to start in Brest, uh, which is, um, I need to find my Brest, um, that's there. Okay, so I'm going to start in Brest um, and then I need to take one of my uh, uh, figures. Um, everyone gets a, a different figure. Um, oh. There you go. Okay, um, and then you roll the dice. Uh, oh no, before you roll the dice, you actually uh, take uh, another blue card, and this tells you where you're going to go to. Uh, so I got to go to Carcassonne. Okay, so you roll the dice, um, and if you land on a feet, you can actually move one space. Then it's the next person's go. Um, if you uh, have a brain, you have uh, analysis paralysis, uh, which means you miss a go. And if you roll that, you blow up and you've got to start again. Okay, uh, let's say for example, I got to Carcassonne. Um, that would spawn the Carcassonne power, which on this card says um, I can spawn a meeple. Now, um, I got a pink one there, let's change for an orange one. Okay, so if I'm the orange player, I can actually spawn an orange meeple. Um, and if I was a red player, I wouldn't be able to spawn any meeples because there are no red meeples. Um, but basically, a meeple um, acts like another you. So on your turn, you can actually move your meeple. Uh, you can leave them on the road and they become a robber, or you can leave them in the village and they become a knight. Uh, kind of sounds familiar. Um, if any player comes across your knight or your robber, you can actually attack them with these lovely dice um, to do damage and make them explode. Um, after the rest of the cards are depleted, is, is an interesting one. This one's trio, true, true. Yeah, um, you get to pull a special card, uh, which um, I can't. 
figure out what it's supposed to say. Um, but yeah, once once the two all the blue cards are depleted, um, you have to move on to the yellow cards and then start going through the yellow cards. Now, this is the uh, this is the bit I really really enjoy about this game. Is when you get to the Mediterranean, you can actually trade all your resource cubes for a multi-resource cube. Now this is a fantastic idea. And then you can use this um, to do whatever you want. You can actually use it to, to buy your money or to buy some penguins, which are very cute. But uh, anywho, uh, be it as it may, that's, that's the game. Uh, let's uh, see what I think about it. Okay, now you can see from this uh, video that the component quality of the game is hmm, and uh, the rules are very, very, very complex. I mean, they, they managed to put them all uh, on the back of this piece of paper and they put it in a funny language, which I, I, I can't read. Um, so, um, be it as it may, uh, the wife really, really hates this game, uh, but she is wrong. I absolutely love this game. This game is fantastic. You should go out and buy it. Um, it comes with luck. Can you shut the door? <laughs> comes with, comes with lots and lots and lots of opportunities to do all kinds of things. So I'm gonna give this um, two uh, towers of Paris. Dungeons up. Thank you for putting up with the Tower of Dice videos. Today's video was brought to you by the letters T and coffee and the number six. Sponsorship was provided by asking the wife for money. And for more board games and reviews, go to GameBoardGeek.com, the number one place for games and geeks.